Hello and welcome to this episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, where today I'm going to be asking you whether or not you celebrate your parenting successes. So the big question is this, how are parents like us, who don't have a manual, who are doing the best we can, who feel as though we aren't enough, how are we going to raise healthy, happy children who we are proud of and still keep our sanity in that process? That's the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Ryan Roy, and welcome to I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, a podcast for parents who are being real with themselves. Hello, and welcome back to this episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, where today I'm going to be talking about whether or not you are celebrating your parenting successes. What has me thinking about this topic? Well, first of all, this is not necessarily a parenting success because it wasn't a parenting goal. But this is episode 250 of my podcast. And what my listeners don't know is that I had a goal this year to do 250 episodes in the year 2019. Uh, That goal was to allow a little leeway. Uh, a little flexibility. I started, uh, I believe my first episode dropped on January 3rd, if I'm not mistaken. And because of how the calendar falls, I said, hey, there may be a couple hiccups. So I gave myself a little leeway. But here we are, mid-December, 250. For me, uh, setting that goal, setting the intention to do it, having uh, uh, someone on my team, Charles, you know who you are, who has uh, helped me produce and put this thing out there and supported me along the way. This is a huge win. Now, from a parenting perspective, I've always said this. If this doesn't get heard by anybody, and yes, there are those of you who listen, um, I will have had a document of this year in regards to my thoughts around how I impact my own children, and it's kind of like a audio documentary that hopefully my kids one day will be able to appreciate and hopefully share some of these lessons with their own children. So uh, not that the podcast is stopping in any way, but that was the mindset going into 2019. I'm going to start a parenting podcast because I don't know jack about it. Hopefully I'll learn something along the way. And the goal, as I have set some goals for next year, is not to do a daily podcast, but a weekly podcast and bring some other parenting experts or people like myself who have a passion for parenting um, to do some interviews and really um, get some interaction more than there has been this year. I'm super comfortable recording these things and um, just really looking forward to bringing a new dynamic to it. So that's a parenting slash podcast success, but how will I celebrate? Uh, One, acknowledging it and saying, wow, I've done this. Two, um, I'm going to continue doing it because I know there are a ton of you out there who have benefited from it. Three, just being content. The definition of contentment is to be happy with what I've produced. And all of that is a success. And I will enjoy my family the last two weeks of the year. But guess what? I'm not going to stop at 250 because you, the listeners, deserve to have consistency. So I will consistently do this throughout the end of the year and then we'll see. But the goal is to do uh, at least one a week and a lot of those being interviews. So that brings me to your parenting successes. Now, I was talking to a client today who has uh, two children, boy eight, daughter 11. And uh, she's a new client. She's suffering some challenges that come along with parenting and really being hard on herself. And I I said, listen, you just gave me a quick, you know, seven, eight minute synopsis of your week. And she used some verbiage. 
And she goes, on a good note, and she shared something that she thought was good. But as she was sharing all the other stuff she had done, all I heard was good in everything that she had done. Be careful not to be so critical of ourselves that we don't see the wins in everything that we're doing. Um, she works a lot. She has a very high uh, affluent position in a very affluent company. And uh, with that comes the demands of that job. And a lot of times it's long hours, which doesn't allow her the quality time that she would desire. And I'm sure her kids would desire to have with their mother. And she's being really hard on herself. Um, and that's not going to serve anybody in the family. It's not going to serve her kids if she feels as though she's coming up short in their presence. Uh, the frustration kicks in. She wants them to behave a certain way when she's only around a limited amount of time. Uh, she could be demanding because she has high expectations. And she's not celebrating all the things that she has done well, nor the things that her children are doing well she's always in a space of wanting more from them having expectations that potentially cannot be met and her children have expectations listen and they're not being met right they would love more time with their mother i mean that's just the fact of the matter so with all of these expectations not being met there's friction in the family but there's hope she would learn to celebrate the small victories that her children have even in some of the roughest of times and I'll give you an example her son came home with some D's in school and D's are just not acceptable I don't think they are to you they're not to me and she's a a, a a a parent who has kids that are capable it's just that simple all kids are capable but these kids are capable and what's going on there right is these kids want attention and they're going to get it whatever way they can so instead of and the reason he came home with a D is because he had some work he didn't do. It finally came out in a parent-teacher conference that he had thrown away his assignment as he was frustrated and didn't want to do it. And I said, let's celebrate what he did do. He's begging for attention, so let's give him some positive attention. Say, hey, I want to thank you for coming clean in the parent teacher student conference where you said that you actually threw it away i want to thank you and acknowledge you for coming home and doing the work i want to thank you for doing it on time in a timely fashion <laughs> i want to thank you because now i've regained some trust in you listen to this you just acknowledge all these things that he did wrong and put a positive spin on it and that probably feels good like is this my mother but here's the thing then he's gonna say mom it's teaching him i want to thank you for the time you spend with me, not the time that you're away. I want to thank you for loving on me and providing a home. I want to thank you and dad for all that you do to support me and my sister. But if they're always getting lack of praise or criticized or yelled at, guess what they're going to do? They're going to start criticizing their parents. They're going to start yelling at their parents. They're going to start having a hard time with their parents. And then we wonder why our kids yell at us. Look, I'm no different. I know I have my challenges too. And uh, when I caught my son yelling at my wife, 
I said, listen, you learned that somewhere and you learned it from us. And I said us, because I'm not perfect. No, a little, little less me than her, but doesn't matter. I said, so we're gonna do better so that you know better. That's a success to be able to recognize that they're mirroring, mirroring what we do. And I talk about it all the time. Look, I don't know jack about parenting, but I figured this out. They don't do what we tell them to do. They do what we show them to do. They mirror us. So model the behavior we desire so that when we look at our children, we go, wow, those are amazing kids. And they learn that from us. And celebrate that. When your kids are absolutely amazing and you go places and are like, your kids are so well behaved, how do you do it? Say, a lot of hard work. And that's why we're actually out to dinner today. We're celebrating. And we can go out in public. We can enjoy a meal. And we can be proud of the fact that we've put in all of those hours. So, and, and people can say, wow, looks like you're doing something right. Thank you for recognizing that. Celebrate your successes. Stop being so critical of self. We'll see you in the next episode. Do you want to be the dad you wish you had? If so, go get my free book, Be the Dad You Wish You Had, at be the dad you wish you had .com. Inside, you'll find my most effective 40 tips to quickly and easily transform yourself into the ideal dad. Go to be the dad you wish you had .com now and get it while it's free.